In light of the devastation of the recent blaze across the Southern Cape Peninsula and all those, of course, who put their lives at risk trying to contain the fire, there was an outpouring of grief over the news of, of the passing of helicopter pilot Hendrik Bies Mare last Sunday while fighting the fire. Now, here's what those who knew him had to say about this fallen hero. As the most devastating wildfire in decades ravaged the Western Cape this month, hundreds of firefighters worked tirelessly day and night on the ground and in the air, putting their lives at risk to protect those in need. One of those firefighters was Hendrik Bies Mare, a helicopter pilot with Working on Fire, who tragically passed away last Sunday morning when his helicopter came down at Cape Point while fighting a breakout fire. Only a day before, he was showing a young girl who wants to be a firefighter how a helicopter works. Throughout the week-long ordeal, Bias had worked extremely long hours, traveling back and forth from water source to fire, never willing to give up or take a break. Bias's role was critical. He was operational right the way through that, that week. Um, he, we actually worked out last night, he uh, personally dropped just over 400 loads on the fire sequences that week. When news of Bias's passing spread, the people it hit hardest were the men and women who worked alongside him. Oh, it hurts, eh? It hurts really, really bad. You know, when you, you talk about somebody and you look around for them and they aren't there, um, or, you, or you call somebody on a radio or you want to call somebody on a radio and you know that they aren't there anymore, it hurts. It really hurts. Bias, as he was affectionately called, was a man who lived his life in service of others, but he was also a quiet, unassuming man who would always take the time to help others. I think you get, you get a person who's got that spirit uh, of, of community involvement, of, of giving, and you've got people that take. You know, you've got two different types of people in the world, and he was definitely a person that gave. He gave a heck of a lot more than he took. And, uh, you know, he, his type and his calibre is sorely missed. It really is. In response to Bias's passing, people across the nation paid tribute to him in any way they could, either on social media or with balloons released into the sky. As a tribute to Bias, a wall of remembrance in Newlands Forest has become the center point for people to give thanks. Messages line the fence along the Newlands Firebase helipad to honor and commemorate the fallen hero, with young children painting or drawing their appreciation onto cards. But doing what he was doing shows you the type of hero he was. You know, landing on Kenilworth center roof and flying operationally for SAPs, that is a hero. Flying for the Air Force, a hero. There's good reason for people to feel a bit down and out. So to see that there are still heroes out there is, is a very, very important thing for people. They, they, there needs to be something that you can hold on to and to know that there are people like Bias out there who are 71 years old and fighting fires every day, doing what he loved, helping other people in any way that he could. It's possible, you can be a hero. Joseph Campbell once said, a hero is someone who has given his life to something bigger than himself. And with that, there can be no doubt that Hendrik Bias Mare was a true South African hero, one we shall never forget. And indeed, we as the Expresso family send our heartfelt condolences to the Mare family. Now, for those who wish to attend, a memorial service will be held for Hendrik Bias Mare at 2 p.m. today at the His People's Church in One City, Cape Town.